فاحيي اجمعين ما بعد اعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم قل متاع الدنيا قليل والاخره خير لمن اتقى ولا تظلمون فتيلا صدق الله مولانا العظيم اللهم صل على سيدنا مولانا محمد وعلى ال سيدنا مولانا محمد وبارك وسلم الحمد لله تشد وي ثانك الله سبحانه وتعالى فور ذس بيوتيفول مانث اوف رمضان اند تو برينج اس تو ذا 17th نايت يس الحمد لله um today i'm just going to go right to the book so in the book we're on the uh, 17th principle which is the love of dunya but you remember i covered love of dunya before as well but i think i made a mistake that that was supposed to be stinginess it was love of dunya but slash love of dunya slash stinginess it was mainly the disease of being stingy <coughs> so in terms of stinginess i mean allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wants us to spend right because everything that he's given us i'm just touching a little bit on stinginess Uh, when you spend Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, He gives you, yeah. right? Allah talks about infaq in the Quran, expenditure. That you give, you give, you take care of people around you, you take care of things, and the more you give, the more Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grants you. There's so much ayat about infaq, expenditure, in the way of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The more we spend, the more we get. And if you just, cons- uh, if you be stingy, <coughs> and you just take things for yourself, there's no good in that. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentions in the Quran, Ahlaktu mal al-lubada, that man, he boasts, Ahlaktu mal al-lubada, <coughs> that I have uh, consumed so much wealth, like I have used it up. So whatever you use up for yourself is just used here. Whatever you spend, <coughs> the way of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is what's going to be stored for us in the akhirah. We'll find it in the, in the hereafter in much in a much, much better condition that you would wish that you had given more. People will have, like Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in the Quran, about people will have regret that they gave less sadaqah, right? It says that it's one place that you'll have regret about giving sadaqah. <coughs> so we shouldn't have stinginess. In fact, we should have infaq, infaq fi sabillah. The more people you help, the more you're giving, the more you give, the more Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gives you. <coughs> There's even stories about people who, like who are uh, ill, who are very ill, and then they were giving people, they were taking care of people, and then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala removed those illnesses from them. So what, what, what is, remember, stinginess doesn't help us. Giving, giving, giving helps us. And everything that we give it will be stored for us. Whatever we consume, we've just used here. And the uh, <coughs> love of dunya, we talked about the love of dunya. It's also one of the diseases. The love of dunya, the dunya, if you think of your heart like a, like a boat, and the dunya should be like, let your boat, like we have to utilize the dunya. Some level of love of dunya we need, right? Because if you don't have love of dunya, you're not going to work tomorrow morning. Right, because you don't have love of dunya anymore. <coughs> Very problematic. No one who's going to pay all your bills. <coughs> who's going to pay the rent? So some level of love of fame and some level of love of dunya is halal. It's permissible. It's actually matloob. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala allows us the dunya, right? Some level. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala even allows us comfort. <coughs> like for example, if you have like a, you know, like if you're buying a jacket in Islam, can you buy it, pay a little bit more and get a more jacket if you can if afford it, if it's halal? And it's a more comfortable jacket. Is that okay? That's okay. One more level. And if you buy that jacket, pay a little bit more and get the nice color that you want. Is that also okay in Islam? If you can afford it, it's okay to put the right jacket, the right color, the right comfort. But then there's a fourth level, which is I want to get that jacket that, that shows a status symbol that I can boast in front of my friends and you know, look what kind of jacket I have. So then that fourth level is <coughs> not allowed. But all the three levels prior were okay. Right. And we said, talked about it in the previous lectures that how in the dunya, how you know, as Muslims we're controlling our nafs, not following our desires, right? We're trying to, we are trying to be best Muslims, yes? May Allah grant us tawfiq. So when it comes to dunya and the things that are made halal, we should take quality, take the best of those. So your nafs doesn't have too many complaints against you. Because if, if, if as Muslims you don't do anything haram, right? We only stick to the halal. Um, and then even in the halal, if we, if we don't give our nafs some quality halal, then the nafs will get really upset with that. <coughs> so that's, that's the point, the love of dunya. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, um, these diseases that we mentioned so far, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, curve, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala enable us to curve them. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala keep them, in, keep them under. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And also, one thing about say love, what, what love should be in our heart? Primary love is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. A human being has to love more. وَالَّذِينَ آمَنُوا أَشَدُّ حُبًّا لِلَّهِ A true believer, he, 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 he loves Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala more than everyone else. Everything else comes. We love other, yes, of course, we love our family, we love our country, we love, um, you know, good things. We, we love so many things, but these loves come secondary. Primary love is 
Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So that's what means being a religious person. Is that when you become a more religious person, your main love starts to become Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And then you actually... And then it doesn't, that doesn't take away from the love that you give to the creation. It doesn't take away from that. In fact, you actually give them a more genuine love. Because now you are connected with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and you love people for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, which is a more deeper love. Understand? Because other than because if you don't love like that, then other loves are more superficial. Where you love people, you love friends because you know you eat together, you know, like different reasons why you have friendships or why you have, you know, different affiliations, those loves are much weaker. But when somebody really becomes a religious person and starts loving Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala more, then the other loves are actually more meaningful, they're actual real love. So may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us real love and give us to enable us to put love in the right place, inshaAllah. <coughs> Allahumma <laughs> tasalam